What's up guys, it's your only friend again, back at it with Little Nightmares. Um, I am honestly very sorry, again, guys, because I did record this, ep this next episode and it is the very last episode. And I accidentally deleted it. So now I have to play it again. So hopefully I choose the right part to start from um let's see chapter selection so yeah I have played it all and I'll try to run through this one as quick as possible but I just want to show you what the rest of the game is like it's very creepy um let's see so you saw the chefs but you didn't see that yet so let's do that Big angry fat people. <laughs> Let's see if it puts me at the right spot. And again, the loading on this game needs some work. I don't know if like the size of the actual chapters are too big or something, or it's trying to load too much at a time. Or what, but it needs to be fixed. Okay, um, we'll just go off of here. Um, I'm not sure if this is farther in or it rewinded a little bit, to be honest. But if it is farther in, it's not by much. I think, yeah, just before this, it was just like a giant climb up a huge ladder so it, you you're basically missing nothing hey like the little lady the lady the evil lady so I'm gonna try to fly past all this He is the most polite eater, though. Hi, buddy. Run! Run! Big, big, angry, fat people. Like I said, people. You ain't gonna reach me, fatty. Maybe you are. Maybe you are because my guy just does not want to fucking grab anything. Was that a sausage going up her nose? That's what it looked like. <laughs> oh, man. I'm already having fun in this game. <clears throat> Can I grab onto his little feet? No. Awesome. Can I go up on this chair? I want to say hi. Let me say hi to this guy. <laughs> I got crushed to death. You breathe very heavily. Okay, time to stop fucking around. Let's do this. Let's do this. No, no deaths from here on out. Maybe one or two. Yeah, dude. Fuck you. Fuck you. Get me, buddy. Get me. Get me. I dare you. This time, my guy better not fail and uh, not grab the fucking lamp. Ok, 
Okay, now I'm at this part. This is probably the hardest part, to be honest. Because the squeeze between these guys are so tight. It's not even funny. Like I said, it's so hard because the camera angle, it makes you higher than what you actually are. So you're a lot closer to the guys up top. And the margin, like, I bet it's possible just to walk past them. <clears throat> but if you jump past them, you jump past them faster and it makes it less likely for them to grab you. Which is why I'm jumping. And yes, I know there's a little Coney guy. But... Ooh, thank God. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Hey, look, there's another Coney. Didn't even see him the first time. But, oh well. This is a giant chase. Come get me, fatties. Can't touch this. No, 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 no. Close one. Not really. Okay, this spot is... This spot's a little bit tricky. Like, to get this spot on the first try it would be kind of hard. What you do is you have to jump over him. But then he turns around and chases you again. Bullshit. Okay. Maybe one death. I am trying to rush this up a little bit, guys, because I do not want this to be a very, very long video. Because it will take time to upload. I don't want to spend too much time between my uploads. Because that would just be kind of messed up to have you guys wait. To see content. This time don't miss the door to little girl. Go to the light. I'm in here. The big chef guy is up right there. I go inside the bathroom. Hope to God he's not gonna take a poop. Because that would be in a, that'd be inappropriate. Like I'm pretty sure that if he did that if he actually went to the bathroom, I would cut that out and just to play it safe. Now this honestly I found on accident on how to do this part. What I did was I just grabbed this can. And I just come on throwing it around. Just making noise, trying to get him back in here to open up the door. But when I was like right here, my chick just turned and threw to the glass. That's how I figured that one out. That one is probably the hardest puzzle. It took me maybe about five minutes to get. But again, like the, these puzzles honestly get easier and easier because it's it's like it st either stays the same difficulty, so you know what to expect, or something along those lines. Because it's it's like repetitive, almost. Now that doll I broke. There's a doll right there, guys. That I broke her, I guess. You not gonna chase me? Oh, cool. No chase scene. Are they sleeping or something? Okay. This honestly freaked me the hell out the first time I ran through it. Because it's literally just 
fat guy after fat guy after fat guy, and then they create this huge, like, tidal wave. Almost. And now I'm away from the fat people. Now... I'm hungry again. No, I'm, I'm actually not sure if this is actually part of the video. I don't know if this is in the future or the past. Yeah, that picture right there is what I'm on. I'm on like a big giant turtle ship. And it's in the middle of the ocean, and these big fat people just boarded us. And guys, I'm sorry, but this is a bit fucked up at this part. So, just a heads up. Yeah, it's, I honestly don't want to show that, but it's part of the game, you know, I'm not going to cut that kind of crap out. Wait for me! Oh, you fucking bitch. Come back! I want to I want to say hi to mommy. She left. Those elevator doors didn't even open up all the way. I could have got my dick chopped off. Man. Let's get on with the loads. Okay guys, uh, this part is actually very close to the very end. So once you pass this part, you know that you're basically at the end. Um, I've, I, I honestly, I don't, I don't even know what this chick does. So I might die from her just to see what she does. Because, or I might get chased by her, or spotted by her, or whatever, but... Yeah, you can hear her humming in the background. It slowly gets louder when you get up to this point. Sorry, I was talking over it. But yeah, she just hums that same melody over and over and over. And I'm going to die from her just to see what she does. Okay. Insta kill. <clears throat> Good to know. <laughs> okay. Now let's actually play this legit. Now when I first did this, I'm like, I need to stay as far away from possible. Crouch to make less noise. And stay in the shadows because that's how most of the other guys saw me. This is because I always stepped in the light. So I need to stay in the shadows to stay hidden. But that comes into play later on. And I actually did think of that beforehand, too. But staying in the shadows stays... Yeah. And just so you, know, and just so you guys know, um, I just saw this vase. It was very out of place. Like, literally... This room is like a rundown room with a very nice vase with an eye on it. So I saw it. And a lot of people go to run and hide, but you don't have to. You just get a key. 
and there is a doll up there, or a grandma doll, or a mom doll, or what the fuck you want to call it, up on her desk, and all you do is just jump from the chair onto the desk and break it. Oh shit, drop the key. Wrong button, let go of. So if you notice on these parts, all the mirrors are broken. That's how I knew what to do at the end battle, you can say. That's how I knew what to do right there because you're given a mirror that is fully intact and it's like you like she obviously cannot look in mirrors. Like it's either that she's terrified of them or she doesn't look like the way she looks or she's just that self-conscious. And honestly guys I just did not want to go in the middle room and step in the light at this part so I just instantly went over here. And found this little doorway. This is my very first playthrough. Like I'm talking about. This is my second playthrough right now. But yeah, this part, I did not die a single time at. And it was shocking. Because it was like a like a 7 minute long video. I'm like, shit. Okay. Now with this. Since she already knows where you are. You need to stay in sight. Because you can't see her outside of this ring. And if you're outside of the ring and you don't see her and she comes after you, you are boned. That I I, I randomly discovered because I accidentally walked in, like walked into the light. And all of a sudden she did that. And it's like she just sneaks up on you. I honestly just did not even move, and it worked. I don't understand why the hell she came from the front, but I'm honestly just running around too to find these lights. <sighs> oh, that was close. That was close. A bit too close. Fuck you, bitch. And again, guys, this part is very fucked up and demented. Okay, so the mirror breaks, right? I have no weapon against her. Now, I'm honestly not sure if she regenerates after a while and just can get up and kill you. But, yeah. And you cannot eat whatever's on the right, but you are hungry right now. And you need to eat something. So, the first thing you ate was a piece of bread. Second thing you ate was a piece of meat. Third thing you ate was a little fucking minion guy. Fourth thing you eat... You guessed it, guys. Her. <laughs> and now I actually understand this part now because you're actually gaining her power. You're actually getting what she can do. Right here. And also this scene right here. If you remember that scene. If you remember that scene. <laughs> I don't even know. Like honestly just com comment down in the comments below. 
If you remember the scene. Okay, so the little raincoat girl. After she got the powers. Right? Tell me what that scene was from. Like, where else you saw that scene in this game? Okay. If you can say that in the comments below, I'll give you props. I'll give you props. Okay, this part, literally, like, I'm controlling her. Like, I can literally walk left, right. The first time I did it, I was kind of fucking around with it. And I went underneath someone that fell. I didn't die, but I got stuck. <laughs> and it took me forever. I fell under that guy. And, um, I got stuck forever. And I'm just in there jumping and jumping and jumping, just trying to get out of that fucking guy. But I can't even jump right now. I, I'm, I can literally just walk. I can't run. I can't light my lighter. I can't grab anything. Yeah, I can change my camera angle. Yeah, I'm still controlling her. The top of the stairs, I'm still controlling her. Yep. I know that after you walk this, through this, like through this door, you're not controlling her anymore. Because she just walked up by herself. But this is little nightmares, guys. Okay, I guess I am still controlling her. That's some bullshit. I don't want to walk all the way up these stairs, but... Okay, now I'm not controlling her. Yeah, I'm trying to move left and right. But... Yeah. You guys, that's Little Nightmares. Honestly, I like the game. I like the gameplay. I like the creepiness to it. How you're like this tiny little person. Trapped in like a big man's world. Where they have like these superpowers and shit. They're trying to kill all these like little Coney guys right here. They're trying to kill all these guys just to feed them to people that come on their boats. And honestly, I cannot wait to see what downloadable content they have in the future. But if it's just like, like you can change your raincoat to something else, or you change like what the, these little minion guys look like, I'm not gonna get that. Um, if it's like actual game downloadable content. Then yeah, I'll get that and I'll show it to you guys. Right, yeah, as soon as I can. Or as soon as I hear about it, I should say. Um, but yeah, that was Little Nightmares. Good game. Kind of weird on the controller layout, camera angle adjustments, up close and distance. It's... It's hard to play the game. But I like how the game plays, if that makes sense. Like I like the, I like the gameplay, but I don't like the controls. Is what is basically what that means. But that's little nightmares, guys. Um, I'm gonna let the credits roll out all the way through. Then I'm gonna end the video. Um, be sure to leave a comment, um, especially on that little trivia thing, where it's. Like right after I get the powers, you can go and rewind it and rewatch it. I already know what, like what it, like what other part of the game it's from. You can even watch all the rest of the videos, and I don't even I don't even know if you'll get it then. But yeah, leave a comment answering that. Leave a comment asking me to play a different game. To play a specific game of your choosing. To play with you. To play without you. To do whatever. Like honestly I'm down to do whatever. But honestly guys. I don't want to. With the. Okay, like the big thing going around. With a whole ton of people. Especially like me. Or I don't show myself. I'm not going to show myself right now. Okay, the people that know what I look like are the people that know what I look like. That's how I would like to keep it, you know. So my friend Zach, I don't know if you're gonna watch this or not. You know what I look like, but I'm not gonna show the community what I look like yet. Okay, 
Not unless I hit like a huge thing. Okay. And it'll be random too. Like I'm not gonna sit there and make a, an announcement video saying, "Hey guys, I am gonna be recording with my camera on," which I can right now, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> but yeah, leave a like on this video if you liked it. I know I talked and rambled on a lot, and I still am. But leave a like, subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. And I'm trying to get my videos monetized. So that way I can make money through YouTube. But I don't want to make money for myself. Okay guys? I want to make money to set up like a tournament lobby. In any game. And whoever wins it gets the money from it. Maybe even have like a certain amount of money going to the first placement. And the second place gets the rest of it okay like honestly to start that off I want to use my own money and I want to set up a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 giant knife lobby where literally you have like a set amount of lives and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like $50 Xbox gift card to the first placement and $20 gift card to the second placement or just a hundred dollar gift card to the top spot I don't know yet. I'm down for either, but I'm going to talk with my friends and discuss that with them for a little bit. But the only thing for that is I do need a full lobby. Because I'm not going to do a knife lobby worth $100 with only like four people in it. That just seems dumb. I'm wasting my money. Okay. Okay. I want more subscribers because I will be announcing these videos in previous videos. Like I'm going to be announcing them before I actually do it. Like this. And this one is just I want to do in the near future. Okay. Once I get a whole ton of people on my friends list that actually watch me. I'll just randomly invite you to a game. Okay. And if you, like, I'll randomly invite you to, like, a normal game where I'm just recording it, and, like, knife only lobbies, snipe only lobbies, or absolute balls to the wall try hard lobbies. Or, <laughs> giveaway lobbies, or tournament lobbies, if you want to call them that. Okay, I'll just randomly invite you to those. But if you seem like the person that, like, where you'll join, but once you hear that it's not a giveaway lobby or a tournament lobby, then you just back out and you're just like, you're only interested in the giveaways? Then no, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm not going to invite you to the giveaway lobbies. Okay? Because that's kind of bull. It's like, you're using me for money that you get me. Literally, it's just... You don't pay to get me money, but I get paid by you just to give you the money that also a ton of other people contributed for, including the other people that you're playing against. So that, that seems kind of messed up to me. Like that's, I'm not a messed up person. Okay. Okay. It seems kind of pointless. It seems kind of stupid to me to sit there and use something for money. It's like, honestly, like, I do this for you guys. I do this so that way you guys can communicate with each other and make new friends that are, play the same way you do, that play the same games you do. Okay? I don't do this for me at all. I do this to get my name out there, yeah. I do this to meet friends that play the same way I do. That just want to mess around. That want to play try hard. Whatever. Okay, I do any type of gameplay. And if it's a challenge, it's a challenge. And that makes it funner. 
Okay. But yeah, it's like I want to, I want to be able to communicate with you guys. But so far, since I've uploaded this video, nobody's reached out. Nobody. I had one person send me a comment saying, hey, I subbed your channel. Um, you don't have to sub to mine, but you can go to this website to get a lot more subs. Uh, no, I didn't do that. That seems pointless. I'm not going to pay people to sub to my channel. I want people to actually watch my videos. That being said, there's the credits. I'll wait for the next scene because it's actually part of the game still. There you go, guys. I'll leave the rest of the rambling on to the next episode of something. <laughs> but thank you, guys. Um, make sure to leave a comment like and subscribe and share my channel to all your friends because I am trying to get it monetized to get you guys paid not myself keep that in mind but I'll see you guys in the next video peace